All right, we're gonna install these Curacan auto bullets right here using this part number. Um, it does not require any resistors. Curacan universal adapters and then the OEM lower uh, cow mounts we're gonna make go on the top. All right, we're gonna start with the left signal. Now what I like to do is I cut the harness halfway through we use this OEM connector, and if I need to, I can always put this back together to put, turn it back to stock. That way you don't mess with the bike's wiring. Um, I'm going to use my own heat shrink. And instead of soldering like I did in my last video, I'm going to use the supplied uh, crimp connectors and soldering, or uh, heat shrink. And make sure to put your bracket on signal before you start this, otherwise you have to do it all over again. All right. There are the terminals crimped on, heat shrink here, and then I have two pieces of heat shrink over here that I'll put over everything once uh, I heat this up. There we have it. The complete left new turn signal. Alright, we're going to start on the right hand side. This one has green and black for the connector. Same thing, black's uh, ground, your greens are positive. Um, this one I cut the wire a little bit shorter. The, the last one was a little bit too long. All right, there's our completed left hand signal. All right, got everything installed. Um, these clamps actually fit a little bit loose because the top of the fork is a different diameter than the bottom of the fork. Put the brackets, let's see everything fits nice and flush. Um, compared to the brackets I made, Kind of a little bit taller. The same effect. Then we turn them on. You see that they're clearly visible. And again, no resistors are needed. Both did the exact same thing in the back with the toast plate mount. Um, go back to my videos and you can see the video on those. That's it.